Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to show you the addition of bromine in presence of water reactors, the double bond. Now here we have our alkene and it reacts with the bromine in presence of water when they form two products and they're enantiomers to each other. And you can clearly see that we're adding two different groups and this hydroxy group is coming from the water molecule and this bromine group is coming from the bromine molecule. Now, we have to consider two things, right? When you react an alkene or an alkyne towards, towards our different molecules, something like bromine or any other different molecules, especially in case of addition reaction. So these three things are the first thing we have to consider is the reagents. So in this case, you're reacting our bromine molecule with the alkene in presence of water. So that means we have our reagents, that means we have bromine and we have water. So and the second thing we have to remember is the regiochemistry. And the regiochemistry here is that you can clearly see that we have uh, tertiary carbon here and this is our secondary carbon across the double bond and our regiochemistry is you can clearly see that our hydroxy group is going towards the most substituted most substituted carbon and the last point is the stereochemistry and the stereochemistry is that the these two groups these two groups will add across the double bond to entire addition now all of this can be explored through the mechanism so let's just talk about the mechanism now so what happens for an alkene in absence of water that means we have our alkene here so it comes closer to the bromine molecule so this pi bond attacks this bromine atom and it leaves the electron on the other bromine atom and later on this bromine atom also attacks the double bond and it forms a bromonium ion like this and we have a bromide ion of course somewhere in the space so Later on, what happens is that through SN2 mechanism, this bromine ion attacks from the back side and which forms a product like this, adding two bromine atoms on different sides to entire addition. Now, what happens when you add this same bromine molecule in presence of water. So in this particular case, we have our alkene that also comes closer together, the bromine atoms that are bonded together to form a bromine molecule. And here in this case also, this particular double bond attacks the bromine atom that is nearby to the double bond and later on it expels the electron on the other bromine atom and this bromine atom also attacks the double bond and as a result it forms a bromonium ion like what we have seen in case of normal bromine addition towards to the alkene so this is our bromonium ion and also we have a bromide molecule. Now one thing you have to remember in this case that that we are always drawing this bromonium ion right at the center, right? But it can always lean towards any of the side. That means that means this is our metal group. So this particular bromonium ion it can link to us this way or it can 
lean towards the other way. I mean, I mean to the other way. Like this. And this is our metal group. Now, this particular bond can also be open, leaving the electron on the positive bromine atom. That means it will form a carbocation here on the tertiary carbon. And that means we have our bromine group on the other carbon. But as this particular positive charge bromine atom is leaning towards one side, that means that means that it will not exactly form a carbocation. Instead, I'll show you a little bit clearly here. So I'll just erase some of the writings here. So okay. So So, this is our metal group. So when it's leaning towards this side, you can clearly see that we are forming a partial carbocation here, not exactly the stable carbocation. So as we're not forming any stable carbocation here, I mean exactly the carbocation like this, like this, this particular carbon is not either sp3 hybridized or sp2 hybridized is working right in between sp3 and sp2 so still we have our water molecule as our nucleophile here and the lone pair of the electrons on the oxygen atom will attack from the back and side towards the carbocation and Actually bonded with this carbon from the back side that means like this and we have our positive charged oxygen atom here and we have our metal group that will come towards us right now so that's why I'm drawing and I'm drawing a wedge So this is our metal group. Okay. So when on the other side, we have our bromine group shifting towards the secondary carbon here. Now all we have to do is on the next step, what happens is that So this is our water molecule bonded here. Now this particular hydrogen of the water molecule is deprotonated by the water in the system. That means we have our water molecule here. And the lone pair of electron will pull the hydrogen off of this water molecule and the electron of the bond between the oxygen and hydrogen will shift towards the positive oxygen bond, leaving our final product like this. like this so and we'll have and also don't forget that we are also forming an enantiomer of this product and that is right here so this is our another product that can also form in this situation when you react our bromine in presence of water with an alkene so this is the mechanism of this reaction.